Hey, Christian, how are you? Good to see you. Hi, I'm great. How are you? Good. So I know last time we talked about, um, I know you said you were having some car problems, and so you were thinking about maybe um, saving up for a used truck. Um, I just wanted to check in to see uh, if that was still your goal, or if you just want to, in general, check in with how your finances are going, or if you do have any new goals, or just I'm opening the floor for that. Well, actually, yes, I'm still open to looking for a new a new vehicle. It, yeah. So you're wanting it new or you're wanting to buy a pre-owned vehicle? No, no, no. You know, used is fine. New to me. Okay, okay, got it. Um, and so with the other car, are you planning to trade it in or is it just not worth anything? I mean, that's, that's a big part of why I come to talk to you because I don't know what the most... What's the best decision for me? You know, like if it's to trade it in, is the trading value worth it? You know, they're usually very low as a trade in rather than selling it personally to a, another party. Perfect. Okay, well, we'll definitely explore all that. So um, I'm glad that we have your goal. That's the first step. So if you'll see here, I just do have some goal setting tools. So there's just some worksheets we'll go through. Um, and this is just for us to help you reach your commitment. So a lot of goals do require information. Um, and you've made a great step by coming to me. So I commend you on that. Um, mm -hmm. So let's see. So you would, how would you state your goal? So here, the example is what I want to achieve for myself and my family within six months. So your example would be what? For example, As a short term goal. Um, yeah. Well, if you want, when do you want to buy your car within six months or more than six months? Well, I would like to, I would say within the range of, eight months to a year because um if my car is going to get traded in or just taken away from me i i, I want to use it to as long as possible okay but the sooner the better for the new vehicle for myself so if i'm hearing you correctly right now the range of time you said since it's more than six months would be considered technically a long-term goal but we'll get more into your budget and see what you can afford. And if you're able to, we can put as much as you're able to per month, um, the maximum amount so that you can get to that goal, hopefully sooner. Okay. Okay. So just to make sure your goal would be what to buy a Ford as soon as possible within eight to 12 months. Yeah. That sounds about right. Okay. Um, so the, here we are on step two. So these are called SMART goals, um, and we're going to be filling it in on the long-term goal. Um, so we already jumped into kind of the time-bound part, but SMART is an acronym, and it start, it's S-M-A-R-T, so each um, letter has a meaning. So S is for specific. We're going to specifically list what your goal is. M is for measurable, so we're going to measure that goal. A is if it's able to be reached, R is relevant, if it's important to you, and T is for time bound. Is there a deadline? Okay. So this just helps us put our goal into a realistic sense because I can say I have a goal to be a millionaire, but unless I have all the acronyms filled out, um, I don't really have a plan. So I'm going to let you kind of take the lead with this, and if you need help, I can jump in. So you would be listing out the... Um, like filling in the blanks for the letters. Okay, so for specific, I would say like what? Like we're talking about my goal or what the goal is? Like so both. So you. So goal. give me an example for specific. What would I? Okay, so I for me, if I have a goal um, to pay off my credit, my student loan debt, it would be specific. So I would like to pay off. $50,000 of student loan debt over the course of five years with paying $500 per month. So the numbers are what makes it specific. specific. Okay, cool. And measurable how many months, how much I'm paying, able to be reached based on my budget. And we'll talk about your budget as well. Okay, so specific for me would be, I would want to say, like to me, if the truck is worth, like, maybe 
let's say 20, 15, 15 to 20 grand. Okay. I would like to at least put a minimum down payment of four, four grand, five grand. Okay. So that would be my specific. My measurable would be in order to save that with my uh, expenses and my uh, my pay, my income. Measurable really sounds, if I have to be realistic, it would sound like about two years to get there. Mm-hmm. Able to be reached is basically what I just said, like the two years. Mm-hmm. And relevant, which is important to me, would be to get there as soon as possible and not get behind on my expenses. And time bound. I mean, simply to me, I feel like there's it's, it's not a deadline. Like, I'm not looking for the newest car, so it's not like the new. Like, if if it's a whole different year, like, oh, now I need to work on getting this one. I'm still worried about this specific, you know, year model. So there's really no deadline. It's just all up to me and how fast I can reach my goal for down payment. So just to make sure I'm hearing you correctly as well, um, you're going to use the car you have and you're basically going to use the car you have until you have the amount you saved up and then you'll decide if you want to put that value towards the down payment. Yes. Okay, cool. So you will not be without transportation. Uh, Okay. That was awesome, by the way, and I really like that you um, stated if you do, like, have one that you want instead, it's not going to change your plan, like, you're going to stick to your goal, and that's very, a lot of confidence you have within your goal, and a lot of that is what motivates people to stay disciplined, so that's really awesome. Just wanted to commend you on that. And, okay, so step three is the action plan. So we'll create an action plan, and you kind of already started to do that, um, So the first thing, and you can write this down um, if you want to at the end of the session, um, or we can give this to you. Um, So the action step, resources needed, date to complete step, completed. So what would your action step be? My action step. Okay, so the first action would definitely be have a job. Right, so... Okay, so I'll have some income. The resources needed would be, I mean, just watching what I spend stuff on. I mean, no, my resources would be what? Can I get an example? Yeah, so um, for my example, my action step is to pay off $50,000 of student loans. Resources needed, um, I might need help from the... uh, government website i might need to talk to a representative from the website to work out the best deal um, to discuss interest rates i might need to ask my friends i might need to ask my colleagues um, date to complete step i want to say i'll pay up fifty thousand dollars in two years so i'll mark that two years from today and then completed will be when i have it completed so okay so my action step would be getting the down payment for the truck and my resources would be you for one, mm-hmm. somebody I can talk to about the smart way to move mm-hmm. coming to this because these things aren't really I- easy to like on your own. Mm-hmm. I I know due to the car I have now. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just yeah, resources are like yourself. Talk to people that have gone through this with down payments and you know financing cars. You know, like. For example, my parents, you know, friends that have new cars, you know, those can be my resources. And just to jump in, kind of unrelated, but also related, I remember you told me with the car you have now, it was your first car and you didn't know anything about the loan process and you were telling me the interest rate you had was extremely high. 23%. So that's very high for a car. So now that you have a resource, which is myself, that can also, we can also go through the process of refinancing uh, but we'll stick to the goal but um, you're using your resources again that's that's really good Um, okay so we have that action step completed um, and you can make little more action steps so I don't know if you want to try another example but um, with the same goal we're talking about yeah 
Oh. So it could help some people. I don't know. Would that help you? No, I mean, I think I think my first action step is like really straightforward. Okay. So with your budget, um, we'll kind of dive into that now. So we're figuring out a weekly target. I know in previous sessions we've discussed your budget. You are very good with what bills you have and how much money you have coming in and how to disperse that so we can kind of break it down. And that's kind of why I didn't think we needed more uh Action steps. So it says, step four, figure out weekly target. If your goal requires money, use this chart to figure out the amount of money you will need to set aside each week to reach your goal. So I'll let you take a look at it, for example, and then um, I can explain it if you need. Okay, so I looked at the example. Mm -hmm. Now... So your example would be, um, I'm going to save this much money... I'm Over the say course the, the of four two. grand, right? Okay. So, but we're gonna include the more specific. So, I want to save four grand within twenty four months for a four thousand dollar down payment on my car. Okay. Right. So, amount needed. You're gonna need how much per month? So, let's do some some basic math. Can I use your phone? Sorry. So I'll let you do it. So the total, the math on this will be the total amount of the down payment. Okay, it would be four grand. Mm-hmm. Divided by two years. So okay. 24 months, yeah. Basically, I would need to save at least $170 a month. Okay. Which would be, and I get paid every, every other week, so that would be... 83 every check. Okay, so perfect. So so for you, does it make more sense for you to do it based on your check versus then how much you need to save per week? Because this uh, this is set up for a weekly amount. Yes, yeah. I, I uh, understand it more by... But, you know, I know a lot of people get paid by the week, so that's why they can do that. But I get paid every other week, so I wouldn't like to say every week because what if there's a week where you know just i just don't have it you know like okay rather than every other week when i do get paid i can say okay i'm getting paid tomorrow i'm gonna get ready to divide what i'm gonna pay which is rent uh whether it's car insurance or car note this bill that bill and then 83 to the side rather than saying oh this week i don't have anything coming in why would i even think about it, you know? Okay. So I kind of manage it better by knowing that the money's coming in tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Cool. So that'll be $170 out of you each paycheck, and you get two paychecks a month. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we have that worked out. It's a little different than the sheet, but again, this is all about what works for you. Um, so, do you have any questions, or do you feel good about it? Do you does it make sense? Is it doable? Um, if I do have a question, is probably a personal one. Like, what do you think is best for this situation? Like this, the plan that me and you just talked about. Like, that's it's great and all, but does it seem like it'll be helpful? Like, will this will this plan like this setup that you've shown me is it is it gonna help me if I stick to it? Oh, absolutely, and that's why part of you coming in and seeing me that's a piece of accountability, and the fact that you've shown accountability with your bills up to date, the fact that you've always showed up for your sessions here, all of that is. Um, wonderful. And if you're having some fears around that, we can definitely discuss that in further sessions. But I'm very glad um, that we did this and I'll give you your worksheets on the way out. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.